So yeah, Petey, tell us about, like, I saw you have a family history. How did how did you come about the Petey's Cafe here? So my grandpa, uh, when he came over from Greece, he uh, purchased a hot dog cart. And he used to work here with my uncles, my, yeah, my uncle, my dad. They all used to do it. And then my dad had purchased one because he saw obviously what was going on. So he purchased one monkey see monkey do type of thing. <laughs> Same thing with me, monkey see monkey do. I've tried numerous different jobs. So once my dad did the, the push cart, he retired. And after a couple of years, I came in and I started doing it. And then that, now we're here. And uh, I just want to market it a little different than everybody else. Yeah, tell us about the social media stuff. I think that's pretty unique that you're like live streaming on Instagram. Yeah, well, so uh, before, right, when I was originally here, Homeless guys would come up to me and like, I just got a big heart, bro. And the guy before me that owned it, he also had a big heart. And he would tell me that sometimes I helped him out. And I said, good, because my dad, they didn't really like helping him out. He was very like, just different, you know? He just yeah. wanted money and he wanted to support his family. So that guy kind of showed me how he supports people. And then I, was, I just took over that way. I've always been a helper. So people were coming left and right. I was helping them out. I got people jackets, I got people clothes, whatever I could. And then one day my girlfriend's like, why don't you just start recording this shit and show people what you're doing? And I was, I was never a social media person. I would always, consume i would never plant seeds in there so yeah. i was like fuck it let's just try it out and uh just fucking skyrocketed from there man. And I, you gotta look so you're live right now Could you yeah, yeah i'm live right now i'm gonna show that right there look, look what he's up to so i'm live right now say what up guys so yeah every day i'm, I'm live and uh they just keep me company they're like all my friends now it's really cool stuff tell us what what like what time do you get here like what are your hours so i get to the spot around like 4 15 i'm up at 2 30 a.m yeah just hustling just fucking waking up brushing my teeth doing whatever i gotta do i get to the garage about 3 45 4 and then from there i come here and then i'm already serving coffee by 4 45 5. what's your i mean what's your what's your favorite thing about this job you get to interact with interact with people all day. yeah interact with people when it comes to coffee listen i have good coffee but i know nothing about it i'm not like a coffee connoisseur yeah. type of nerd like i'm not a coffee nerd i just know regular coffee from diners and from push guards and uh, so, I just leave it at that. My main thing is I love talking to everybody. Yeah. I love helping people. I love seeing the smile on their face when I charge them $1. seventy-five for a small coffee. Because everywhere else is like fucking too, uh, it's just expensive. Bro, What's your, like, what are your best sellers here? Uh, my iced coffee sells out all the time. And um, everything, it always varies. It goes by how people are feeling. Some days they'll get a regular donut, they'll get a butter roll. But uh, the best thing really is the cheese danish and the croissants. They usually always sell the pound cakes. But my favorite is the apple turnover and the apple donut. What's the, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened here? Any, anything really wild? Oh, I actually posted it on my YouTube account. Some uh, some lady came. I don't know if it was late. I don't know what it was, but uh, had blonde hair, and it was just it was she was ranting for like four minutes about some crazy crazy stuff. I don't want to say on the camera. I don't know how yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying, but she was saying some shit. And uh, <laughs> I mean, if you want to see it on my Instagram, you'll get an so idea. So you're like a therapist in a way, too. People like to chat with you all the time. Yeah, they like love their problems. Well, that's kind of what I like to do. I like to talk to people. I like to pick their brains and take out the negative thoughts. And that goes for all my friends. I've always been like that. Uh, Sometimes I get taken advantage of, but at the end of the day, I know I'm doing something right. Do you think like a lot of young people these days don't want to go into like this type of job? Absolutely. Like, they think it's like beneath them. It's like it's too much hard work. Absolutely. I do think that. I do think that. But listen, it is a lot of hard work. It's very, very hard. It's not the easiest job. It's definitely high stress, high anxiety, but it's a huge payout. Not the money wise, more of like just communicating with your community, with real people, in, you know, face to face. Like you can go to McDonald's and everybody's just a ticket number. Yeah. Everybody's a receipt, you know? Over here, you're actually learning about people and just fucking just knowing about their life a little bit. Gotcha. It's just little bits of their reality and it's cool. You get to you get a different perspective. You know, when I talk to the homeless people, I realize I used to think I had it bad. I used to think I was like, you know, in the worst position ever. And so I talk to these guys, I'm like, wow. I'm a bitch, bro. <laughs> like, I'm a bitch. If I'm crying yeah. about what I'm going on, they're living on the streets and sleeping in the rain, no food, no water, no nothing. Who the fuck am I to cry? You know? I feel you. Um, yeah, so I'm a little overwhelming sometimes. I, I, I talk a lot. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. It's good for the social media stuff, yeah. trust me. Well, it's just me. It's me being me. You know, people ask me a question, I always answer honestly. Could we get jeans in there to get some clips of you just like doing stuff? Just like fill the talking. Hey, like, we'll, we'll definitely be nuts about though. It's pretty tight here. You can get in there or as close as you can, yeah. Oh, we take the backpack, yeah, Gabe. We gotta do a quick though, because the health department comes, we're getting raped. Brother? Your friends, friends with Gabe, Gabe is the man, bro. If it wasn't for Gabe, I wouldn't be doing this. He's the one that really put the sparked idea in my head. He's a fucking gangster. I loved it, all Gabe. He's helped me out a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Good God, man. Yeah, it's a little dirty here. I spilled a, a coffee bag opened up when I was making it. I got coffee grinds everywhere. Shit. And the light just died. Yeah, my, I have a generator. Uh, yeah. I wish you guys would have came a little earlier. It just went out? Yeah, it just went out the generator. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. 
James, you want me to get you a light? Uh, sure. How long have you been recording on? What have you been filming for, James? Uh, about a year now. Nice. Yeah, you yeah. like it? Awesome. It's fun. Yeah. Well, James, you want, the, you want the light from the pack, right? Mm -hmm. I need my phone, but we actually have a light, right? It's all good, man. We're used to filming in like dark restaurants and stuff. Yeah? Like, this is nothing, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like a nice day. One second. Kimmy, you have the charger for the iPhone? And the battery pack. Just bring it to me. Ah, it's cool. We're like going to haunt the movie. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Some call you're crazy, bro. They're talking very highly about you. All right, so what should I make? It's kind of tight, so we got to figure something out. Oh, so let's, yeah, let's order, let's order. So I, I was thinking of your, uh, your, was it your secret menu item, the Cadillac? Cadillac? Oh, Cadillac. Yeah. I got you. And you got to tell us as you make it how that came to be. How that came to be, yeah. all right. So, uh, let me see, who, who told me about it? You want the white Cadillac or the black Cadillac? The regular hot chocolate. Cadillac. Regular, regular. All right. So, um, I forgot where I seen it. Somebody told me try, uh, try coffee and, um, and hot chocolate. I thought that was weird. I'm not a big fan of hot chocolate, so I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll try it out. And ended up making it, and it was just delicious, bro. I've never seen that. And then now people are telling me it's a mocha. I'm not a Starbucks person. I don't know about these venti lattes and all that crazy shit. Somebody asked me for a latte, and I looked at her with like five pounds. I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not a place to get a latte. I was like, what is a latte? And she goes, oh, it's just extra milk. I was like, so you want it light? I was like, is that what you want here? So, yeah, it goes like, you want sugar in there, bud? Uh, no, it's okay. So it's kind of, it's kind of like, he said, that's okay. Oh, I'll put it anyway. I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I made this and, uh, I posted on social media and somebody asked me, oh, somebody was shitting on me. I was like, I don't know what to name it. And somebody says in jail, they call it the Cadillac in jail or on the streets. And like, you know, the street lifestyle, they call it the Cadillac and other people that go to Starbucks and they would tell me it's a mocha. And I was like, I like the street sound better. I like the Cadillac yeah. better. I'm gonna keep it with the real people and not with the ones that are just, you know, programmed. But so it's half coffee, half hot chocolate. Half coffee, half hot chocolate. Here you go. Uh, ice of course. How do you like the iced coffee? Uh, milk and sugar. Milk and sugar. Two sugars is good for you, boss. Yes, sir. Got you. Milk and sugar a little bit. Okay. Add the milk. Donut. What's your best selling donut? Thank you, you said one, right? Uh, the best selling donut. It's not really that. That's I've been trying to push it because I think it's the best donut. It's the apple uh, crumb. So you gotta understand, people in the cars, they're really habitual. Sorry, they're really habitual and they yeah. get the same thing over and over again. Yeah. I try to break their taste up a little bit, but they don't want to really listen. I'll do one of those, yeah. All right, you the apple donut. No food. You want a bag for it? Yeah, no, I'll take a bag, yeah. Just, right? just in case we have to walk in the cover. You want a donut as well? I think I'm good. All right, yeah. Today. A lot of food today. How much we owe you? Uh, he's already paid. You already paid? Is that enough? Yeah, it's good, bro. Sure. Yeah. You want Jay? I'll give you Jay. Uh, Thank you, bro. Do you, mind, do you mind if he films you with a customer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, it's keep filming. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. Um, I'm your car muffin. My car muffin is 225, dude. 225. 225? Yes, sir. Yes. The sign says the price right there, my love. Have a good day. Don't fucking put that in there, bro. <laughs> We're gonna have to go to the scaffolding probably eat this. Why well, it's coming down bad, huh? Just, just enough where I want to be covered. Um, it's fine though, man. In New York, you got to film in all weather. Yeah, this is true. This is the city. This is Gotham City right now. What's the tough? What's the toughest part of your job, you think? Oh, uh, like that just happened right there. Some people get upset because I had to raise my price to twenty-five cents. You know, I also have two kids. I yeah. Pay rent. I got a lot of expenses in life now. Yeah. And uh, some people just think everything needs to be free. And I think I have good prices already, but that's kind of like, that kind of low key, it makes me upset because I wish I could help them out. Yeah. But also, you know, help me out too. It's, it's, uh, it's an exchange here. It's not, you know. Right on. How old are you? Me, I'm 28. Oh, 
where you, where you, where you live? No, I live in Long Island, but I'm from uh, Flushing, Queens. Queens, okay. Yeah. Well, I was going to guess Queens for some reason. Yeah, we're good. a little different out there. Well, you got the Yankees. So I thought most Queens people are Mets fans, though. Well, you, I should have a Mets fan, but I'm not a big sports person. Uh, I just like the hat. I like the colorful designs. It really uh, it makes people feel different when they see all the colors. They feel more comfortable. It's, uh, it's like a cool little vibe. Dude, thank you so much, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you guys coming. My man. man. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you guys. You, yeah. Cameraman, you too, brother. You're in this as well. Time, I was going to think, could you just act like you're going to serve someone? I just want to get a few clips. You want me to get my girl to come in? Act like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. Right. Act like you're going to serve her and like she could order. I just want to get some B-roll because it's going to fill the talking a lot better. Got you. 100%. Oh, you still want it back here, right? Oh, uh, James, where do you think it would be better to film that kind of interaction? Um, yeah, probably from the front. You could run around, you could do both sides. Come on, they want to record. Just think what you want, just say let me get a small lighting sweep. Yeah, to make it easy. Good morning. How are you, beautiful? Good. How are you? What can I get for you? Can I have a small hot coffee? Light and sweet. Light and sweet. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Hi. Thank you, Brad. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm I good. must. I must say, you are definitely beautiful. Thank you are you. really I beautiful. I appreciate today. that. You're gonna make me blush. You warm in there? It's freezing out here. It's cold as a motherfucker. Thank here you go, my you. love. Thank That's twenty-two dollars. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm a real jokes type of girl. I can't. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, putting in a bag. Can you be nice? Do you want something to eat? Yeah, you want to take that thing from the corner? If you can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, Here you go, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Small light and no sugar. Okay. <laughs> How you doing today, boys? Good. How about you? You're doing amazing. Thank you for asking. Any more caps? Beautiful day we're having, right? Oh, it's a nice day for what? Nice day for what? Dogs. Dogs, yes. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, boss? One seventy-five. There you go. Have an amazing day, buddy. Can you Dude, what are the chances that bitch is gonna fucking complain about the price, bro? <laughs> what another girl that complained about the price? What are the fucking chances? Yeah, she's like, uh. She saw the camera and said, let me get my let me get my minute in there. What else? Are you taking a video of? I like the fit, dude. That rain jacket is gangster. Uh, it's like you moving your hands like, like this. Like fake swimming? Uh, just like fake like working. Fake working? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just... You ready? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that good, James? Uh, yeah. I definitely want to make myself another iced coffee. Yeah, what's the top? Oh. Are you doing it again? Oh, what the, um... Is that good? Yep. Uh, this is so weird, bro. Who's not? It's your fucking curiosity. No, bro, it's just being very, uh. Why well, I gotta act like, yo, what up, bro? We want coffee, dude? Fuck's good. Why well, I, 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 I gotta act like that, bro? Is that how you get customers? Is that how you uh, get to people by acting like an asshole? Who said that anyway? Yeah, 
Augustus jerks off at his boy's hand. Are they done? I don't know. They're talking to the camera. Yeah. Uncle Gussie's is definitely where it's at. He's got a full-on operation. Yeah, yeah, I just can't hear you because I have... What, do you got a headset in? No, I have a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bro. But, uh... Yo yeah, guys, man, it's amazing, dude. I will send her the Sorry, video. Sorry, this, this rain sucks, bro. Hopefully, it's a, hopefully the video comes out nice. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna oh. we're gonna eat it under there. We're gonna talk, but yeah, you gave us a lot of good content here. So you think so? You think it was good? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. I knew it. <laughs> I knew before it came it was gonna be good. Oh, I appreciate oh, that, bro. You good? You good? Okay. Yeah, he's loving the camera. Put this man on camera. Why you guys have him holding it so much? <laughs> 